intriguing problem today, which more or less represents a triumph of mathematical notation. And I'm just going to do a couple of examples here, folks. This pi product notation, I'm using n is equal to 24 here. And it just means to take the product of all the divisors as d ranges through all the divisors of some natural number n. In this particular case, for 24, the divisors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Notice there are eight of them, and that's what this function tau measures. There's eight divisors here. We listed them all. There's ways to do it more precisely, but we, we can just enumerate them here. But we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisors. Now notice this just works out very nicely, really. Uh, one times 24, the divisors pair off in a fashion that gives you the original number. So I'm going to put an in here, an in here, and in here, right? And lo and behold, what's that? n times n times n is certainly uh, n to the fourth. But notice that is equal to um, what we're trying to prove. Um, that's equal to tau, okay, of uh, Sorry, uh, let me let me let me erase that real quick. Uh, that would be uh, that would be one thing about that, right? That's the same thing as saying n raised to the tau of n. You know, I'm just making I'm copying out. I'm making the tau like a t over two. Okay. So for non-perfect squares, the result holds, right? This is what we we're trying to prove. The product of the divisors is n raised to the tau of n divided by 2, okay? But there's also something called a perfect square, and this is an example of a perfect square right here. This is equal, of course, to 6 squared. And it's not hard to show that any perfect square always has an odd number of divisors because of exactly what you see right here. Six is a divisor, you know, but it doesn't pair up with anything else other than itself, right? But be that as it may, we still have n times n times n times n, right? Times the square root of n. Okay? But yeah, just, just uh, basic laws of of exponents is these are uh, you know remember you can add your exponents together and so this would be n evaluated at one there's a one here one you know one uh, maybe I'm going overkill here and then this would be n to the one half right so this is going to become n to the four and one half You want to write that way, or uh, more in keeping with our notation here, this is um, equal to n raised to the 9 halves. Okay, but again, that's the very same thing as what we were trying to prove. That's n raised to the tau at n. Remember, our tau at n is 9 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine divisors. So this is n to the tau at n quantity divided by two. So y'all again, not rigorous, but hopefully convincing the same kind of thing would happen for any non square and any square over and over and over. So again, I didn't use a lot of notation. This doesn't constitute a rigorous proof, but hopefully a convincing proof nonetheless. So that's all, there's only two possibilities, right? You're either a square or you're not a square so this is a square everything else is not a square and if it's not a square the divisors pair up in this convenient fashion so it ha it worked and we can proudly write down QED although it's not a very super you know the, a more formal proof would be to do something like this if you're interested uh, I, I'm not this doesn't intrigue me that much but you could write down all the divisors d sub 1 uh, d sub 2 um, you know d sub 3 let's say, and then you could run it out to, um, you know, you could run it out to whatever, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say 
D sub K, right? And you could you could work it out, but then you'd have to come up with a schema. It's just kind of a notational, a little bit of a notational headache, you know. But you you could work with this where k would either be an even or an odd number, and then pair them up, and then note and indicate there would be one of these divisors that's the square root, you know. So it would be it would go. It's just kind of uh, I don't I don't like those proofs that much. And again, this would not probably get full marks on a test. But it does convince, I think. So uh, in any event, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and we'll, we'll see you later.